Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. Uh, said I was going to do it, so I'm going to do it. Today is a review of uh, Bloody Bits Shorts Compilation Volume 2. Um, I reviewed uh, Part 1 a bit back and uh, it was really good, so decided to give this one a shot. This contains 10 short films. Like, like the first, it's a bunch of Canadian short horror films from the Blood in the Snow Film Festival that we have up here. Um, yeah, so I'll just get into it. Uh, I have some of this written down mainly because, uh, the titles as listed on the back here aren't the order they are in the actual, like, film itself. So I'll go through them one at a time. First up is Trapped. Trapped is just kind of like the intro to it. You got, um, this guy, he's in a, a movie theater and, like, he, like, wakes up and for some reason it's snowing. I don't know. It's 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 kind of a wraparound, but not really. It's like the, an introduction to the thing. You know, he, he goes around, some people show up, and then he goes into the screen, and that starts starts the thing. What the hell is that? Oh. Uh, it was okay. It's it's kind of like a wraparound. There's no there's nothing special to it. It's just like an introduction. It's all it's all right. Next up is Summoned. Summoned was a really strong release. You got this girl, and she's sat in, like, a, a circle with, like, writing all around it, and it becomes quite clear she's summoned a demon, and the demon has done something, and it's not what she wanted, and the demon's essentially saying to her, like, you know, you knew what I was when you, like, kind of, when you summoned me here. Like, um, like, kind of like, don't go complaining about it now. I do what I do, because this is, that's what I am. Uh, a really solid one. I could see that extended into a feature quite easily, because, uh, it's, it was just, it was just pretty interesting, really. Um, a lot of stuff in that done with shadow, which is kind of interesting. So you don't actually see the demon. You see, like, the sh a shadow moving around. It's, it's pretty good. Next up is Tick Tick. That was quite interesting because that was a really short movie. I think it was like, um, I want to say like Thai or Filipino or something. I don't know. Um, let me just see who directed it. Tick Tick. Uh, maybe Spanish? Spanish or something? I, it's some foreign language. Let's just say that. I didn't recognize it. Uh... And essentially, you got this woman, she's having a baby, and, uh, you get this voiceover with this girl saying, you know, like, I always wanted to be a mother, and then, like, I, I learned what they do with the babies in our land, or whatever, and, um, you know, like, they're creatures and stuff. It's, it's pretty decent. It's a short, again, it's one that could probably do with being longer, uh, and would probably be better served as a feature. Next up is Brothers. It That's weird. It's like brother, you know, uh, bracket, S, bracket, you know. And essentially, um, get this kid. He, essentially it's the monkey's paw. It's a version of the monkey's paw. His brother has died and he, uh, he wishes him back and not good stuff happens. That was pretty decent. Honestly, that works better as a short than as a feature. Um, I just couldn't see it being pushed up to feature length, honestly. Next up is Talking Heads. That was that was a really interesting one. Essentially, it's like a society where you can swap your head. So this woman, is like, uh, I guess her boyfriend or whatever isn't paying attention to her. So she goes and like, gets her head cut off and another one put on, and then you notice, like, pretty much every woman in the entire thing, they're all wearing these black chokers, I guess, you know, to hold the head on. You know, it, it, it's interesting. It's it's good as a short. Again, wouldn't, I don't think you could really push it up to a feature for that. But, you know, is what it is, right? Next is No Trespassing. Uh, a girl kind of, like, this is a bit weird. She, like, goes into the, the woods, and then there's, like, like, like something there, like, hunting her, but it's a dream. 
or is it because she, she wakes up, then she falls asleep again, and she's back, I don't know. That was essentially a silent short. It, it was alright. It was nothing really to write home about. It was okay. Next up is Spook Slayers. This is one that definitely needs to be pushed up into a feature, because that was really solid. Um, essentially, it, it's like Ghostbusters, but, you know, they're, they're, they're a fraud. But they go to this house where this person is, uh, their daughter's gone missing, and then, uh, you know, there's, like, demon shenanigans and everything and stuff happening. It's, it's pretty good. Decent effects, everything. All around, good release. Um, like I said, I'd like to see that one pushed up. Next up is Marauder, which is basically Mad Max. You know, it's, um, this biker in, like, the post-apocalyptic world, whatever, and they get run off the road and their bike gets taken and then they go and get it back it, it's it, it would be a Mad Max film let's be honest um, it was okay uh, I wasn't the biggest fan of it but that's just me um, the horror on it there wasn't really any it was more like you know a sci-fi type action thing next up is Madre de Dios that was kick ass essentially it's like uh, i think it's i'm sure it's spanish and um these two people have kidnapped this woman and essentially they put a demon in her and she gives birth to like some kind of demon it was creepy it was atmospheric uh i thoroughly enjoyed it that is one again i would love to see pushed up to uh to a feature it was it was one of the standouts of the of the piece. Next up is uh, Kirill, C H I R A L. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And uh, it's this guy that um, he opens a, an art studio, not an art studio, an art gallery, and someone steals his tablet and runs off with it. So he goes after her and uh, it it's all right. You know, it, it's 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 fine. You know, just not my thing. And last up, I'm going to butcher this pronunciation, because even though, yes, I am Canadian, I do not speak French. Uh, Ch Chashamar Capitone. It's about a haunted chair. Yeah, this guy gets his chair from his uncle or whatever, and uh, like anyone that sits in it, they see horrible things and everything, and yeah. That's about it. It, it. it was okay. Nothing special. All in all, for a rating, like the first one, I give this uh, an 8 out of 10. Um, I think I gave the first one an 8 out of 10. I'm giving this one an 8 out of 10. Bunch of good shorts. These are directors to watch. That's one of the good things about these short compilations. You know, you can, you can find out who you want to keep an eye on in the future. And some of these directors, you definitely want to keep an eye on. And again, from uh, Black Fawn uh, Distribution, everything they put out is like a gem as far as I'm concerned. So, it's damn cool. So yeah, give it a shot. Uh, Bloody Bits Shorts Compilation Volume 2. Good stuff. I'm hoping for... Uh, yeah, I'm sure there'll be a part three. I mean, this was 2018, so I'm assuming there'll be one in this year, too. So then I'll be picking that up as well. Uh, that's it for now. See you next time.